Scorpio. Welcome to your soulmate reading. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your patience. Um, so before I start, I just want to say, I, as some of you noticed, I started a more private community on YouTube. Nothing is going to change here. You're still going to get all the readings for free, but this is a paid subscription and a couple people join already. We're doing our first live tomorrow night, Friday the 16th. Um, and yeah, really excited. It's for people who want to learn tarot, who are excited to share with other people about tarot. So yeah, we're going to be doing lives reading, new moon, full moon workshops. And I post a lot of exclusive video there on spirituality and tarot and all that. Okay. So if you feel like you want to take the leap and join, the link is down below. Okay, Scorpio, what is the general energy for you in love? Give me two cards as general energy for Scorpio. Beautiful, King of Wands and Four of Wands. Okay, so a lot of passion. I, I really like this combo of card. It feels like for a while, you've been seeing other people, you know, getting married, falling in love. And you were like, when is it going to happen for me? And I think it's happening for you now. This kind of beautiful feeling of, okay, there's someone who likes me back. Maybe you're single right now. Maybe you're not talking to anyone. So this could be happening maybe uh, in the near future. We'll see what the card has to say. Someone makes you feel really good. They think you're attractive. They think you're sexy. Uh, I feel like the king of wands is your energy right now. I really like that. A lot of passion and beautiful communication. Feeling like everything led you to meet this person. I like it. Okay. Tell me what is up, Scorpio. Yeah. Definitely a lot of passion. I keep seeing... Um, wands. Who is that person, Scorpio? Oh my, are you kidding me? What the hell? Lover's card and two of cups. A relationship started a little bit, you know, slower. It was more friendship. You guys weren't really sure. We're going to give each other the time to, you know, clear the past and see how we feel. And things are expanding. This person feels like a mirror of yourself literally um maybe you were keeping yourself from saying i love you but i think it's gonna be happening so fast yeah there's a feeling of uncertainty but i do feel like it's exciting for you you are a really mysterious being scorpios just be honest um and i, I feel like the moon energy is such a beautiful energy for you so you guys are really focused on right now how you feel um feeling like things were meant to happen this way i think that you're learning to communicate learning to get each other to get to know each other better definitely a lot of tension i'm gonna be honest like in a good way okay uh you guys can't wait to just meet and go crazy definitely this is what i'm feeling um, but the moon is a lot about letting things come in waves, you know, we're not really rushing things, we're excited, there's a lot of passion, but it's like, we'll see, we'll see how things goes, let's just enjoy right now what we have, it's really precious, definitely. Tell me more about Scorpio. Okay, so we have... Uh, the King of Pentacles, Chariot, and the Ace of Pentacles. So I think you met this person in Cancer season, or it was an important time for you too, okay? I had the Five of Cups also that came out of the deck. I feel like you kind of connected on past difficult time, like probably sharing about how it was with your ex the things that you don't want in a relationship this person makes you feel grounded they make you enjoy the present moment definitely and the chariot energy is of course about getting vulnerable especially in a soulmate reading but i do feel like 
the chariot is a lot like a graduation, you know? It's the step after the lovers. It's the card right after the lovers. So it's like, okay, we already know we have feelings for each other. Now things are getting a lot more comfortable. I'm not necessarily, you know, riding the wave of uncertainty and being like, what the hell is going to happen with them? Do they like me or not? I think that they're going to be getting a lot clearer on how they feel about you. And I really like that. You guys are connected, not only uh, energetically, but it feels like you guys were supposed to meet each other. This feels like, and I don't say that often, but this, it does look like a past life relationship. Things were meant to be. And I think that communicating with that person uh, they feel like a friend. They feel like a best friend. You want to open up to them. You want to you want to introduce them to your friend, family. You feel like they would completely fit in your life and make sense. Again, a mirror of yourself. This person is a lot like you. I don't know if they're a water sign just like you um, or an earth sign, you know, complete opposite. But there's something really beautiful, like two puzzle piece, just like complimenting each other and when I say that you guys are enjoying the present moment it feels like this person every time you talk to them it feels like a release like they're not keeping you in a place of anxiety of oh my god do they like me what's gonna happen I do feel like in the beginning it was probably like that but it evolved communication is really beautiful I think you both want the same thing and it feels nice. It feels nice. And I do feel like a, probably you, you're leaving behind these old stories of yourself, of not being good enough, of feeling unlovable, feeling like um, you'll never find someone who com completes you. And I really love, this is one of my favorite cards, the Eight of Cups is really a transformation when it comes to our emotionality. Maybe in the past you were more in codependent relationship, you needed someone and for a while, you could have been single for a while and really changed yourself change your body, mind, and soul. And now you're like, I know what I have to offer. I know what kind of person I want in my life. And it feels good. This is an important time in your life. Look at these cards, guys. A lot of major, a lot of transformative energy. You've done the healing. I think that you've been on a really... Healing is never done, obviously. But listen, you want a transformation card? This is the biggest one. I think that this person is turned on by how straightforward you are. How unafraid and brave you are to have these difficult conversations. You are willing to open up your heart to this person like never before. I don't think they're used to that. I don't think they're used to having someone who is so honest, so clear, so straightforward. Um... It turns them on. I think in the beginning, I'm going to be honest, I feel like in the beginning of this relationship, when you guys were just friends or just talking, it was scary for them. It was scary to have someone who is so honest. And it could have, you know, it could have clashed at one point. Definitely. Maybe you guys have been in and out. Maybe you guys had a pause where you weren't talking. Tower is beautiful. We need to stop fearing, fearing the tower and it's one of your power card also. Scorpio is really a powerful energy of I'm surrendering to what the universe has in store for me because the only thing you can do with the tower is surrender to it. There's no other way around it. So again, everything that happened in the recent past for you, the most difficult times was leading you to meet this person in some way. It feels really good. Give me two cards for Scorpio. Yeah. You are both at crossroad. And I know it seems cheesy. I hate to say that when I see the judgment card. But it does feel right in that situation. I think you guys had such a perfect timing. Maybe there's still some things in the past that your person need to heal. But I think you're really helping them do that. 
You are already transformed, Scorpio. You know, that card is your energy. You transform all the time, every season, every fucking day. Scorpio, this is what you do. You evolve. And it's not just because you're such an intuitive and intelligent human being. It's really because you're able to surrender to these tower moments. You know how to utilize really difficult situation in your life and bring them to your advantage. And I really like that about you. I'm a rising Scorpio and I know what it feels like to transform a lot, you know? My sun sign is Taurus, so I'm really like, I have two opposites, my sun and my rising sign, but my Scorpio side is just always ready for change, you know? Riding the wave of freaking tower moments. And I really like that. I think that this person is literally ready for the ride. Meeting you is the best thing that ever happened to them. And I don't want to take away the fact that it's amazing for you too. This person has a gem. Like you are literally the best thing that ever happened to them. I'm serious. It's really beautiful. And I think that you're about to start... A really beautiful chapter together and the ace of cups is here to confirm what i was saying how freaking magical was that reading i love that every time i'm talking about something car just flew out it's a new beginning in love for you too it's <laughs> the sun at the bottom of the deck guys it seems too good to be true sometimes when i do this soulmate reading but fuck if you are in love right now this is the real deal it might not be easy all the time. We're not here for easy. We're not here for um, perfection. It's not about perfection. It's about slowly getting comfortable and you being honest, straightforward and giving that person a lot of space to be heard and seen. And I think that you're changing their life completely. And this person is really lucky to have you, definitely. Scorpio really happy for you. If you're single, keep your heart space open because I think there's a huge, I have goosebumps saying that, there's like a huge possibility for you to meet someone. It could be someone that's already a friend, but it could be you starting to communicate with someone and the beginning is going to be really slow and really uncertain, but it's evolving to something completely magical. This is a magical reading, definitely. Thank you for being here, Scorpio. Remember to like this video and I'll bring you your general readings really soon. Bye.